hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel thank you for all the new subscribers I'm so excited that you guys are here and for all my OG's you know how it is over here we talk about all things spiritual law law of assumption law of attraction manifesting your beautiful life and it's no different in this video today I have something very exciting this is not required techniques okay and also there is one word that I want you guys to get one word that I want you guys to etch into your brain that has been giving me amazing results and I know it will get you amazing results because everything that I give you guys on my platform I've tested it I proved it and I know that this works let's get into the video first and foremost Neville Goddard talks about the path of least action. In my interpretation, the path of least action really has to do with doing the minimum amount of mental work in order to get your manifestation. So in the context of the path of least resistance, Neville Goddard and Abraham Hicks, they both actually have the same ideology when it comes to taking the path of least resistance. Now, what does Neville say about the path of least resistance or the path of least action? Well, let me just put on the screen for you guys what he says about it. Therefore, in moving from your present state to the desired state, you must use the minimum of energy and take the shortest possible time. Your journey from one state of consciousness to another is a psychological one. So, to make the journey, you must employ the psychological equivalent of least action. And the psychological equivalent is mere assumption. The day you finally realize the power of assumption, you discover that it works in complete conformity with this principle. It works by means of attention minus effort. Thus, with least action, through an assumption, you hurry without haste and reach your goal without effort. Now, this is very important to remember because we're talking about the law of assumption. The law of assumption literally tells you that a belief or a thought that you accept as truth is going to harden into a fact where you're going to live that in your everyday life. It's going to become a part of your reality. So at the end of the day, what can we do to assume the best for our lives. Well, there's this one word that I'm gonna share with you guys if you keep watching the video. Your subconscious mind only knows the word yes. It literally only does and presents to you in your reality what you continue to feed it. So we want to feed our subconscious mind with love, peace, prosperity, everything is working out in my favor. We wanna feed it with the things that we want to see come into our reality. Repetition is going to help you. So repeating your affirmations throughout the day, that's a thing, we're doing that for sure. The collective consciousness has voted and affirmations is what we're doing and it's okay. It's beyond a trend. It literally is something that we all are manifesting and it's okay. Use the affirmations that I have made on my channel to your advantage because in the comments people are getting results because this stuff does work so are you guys ready for the one word that you guys need to focus on in order to get your manifestations drum roll alignment when you focus on this one word alignment and you put this maybe up on your wall or you put it in your phone as your screensaver Remember, this is a no technique video. However, sometimes seeing it, just writing it, that's the least effort that you could do is just write it on your, your whiteboard or somewhere to remind yourself that when you are in alignment, when you are focused on the end result, what does alignment look like? What does it feel like? Well, I have someone that Neville would approve of because they both have the same ideology, like I said before, when it comes to taking a path of least resistance and the path of least action. So I want you guys to hear what Esther Hicks has to say, AKA Abraham Hicks. Let's hear her definition of alignment. I know that when I chill and allow that well-being is mine, things are always working out for me. Well, how can things always be working out for you? They are, things are always working out for all of us if we allow it. 
I can control the way I feel because I can control the direction of my mind. I know these things to be true. I am the creator of my own reality. Now that you understand what she says, it's basically following the things that light you up. Refusing to accept or assume that you have resistance. Putting yourself on a pedestal and only focusing on the things that bring you joy, the things that make you happy. What would you be doing if you already had your manifestation? Can you do this consistently for seven days? This is what I do in my membership, The Sweet Spot. You can check that down below if you want to know what that's all about. But every single month, what I've been doing for the past three or four months is we've been doing a seven day mental diet reset every single month. And that's just seven days of pure focus on manifesting in the end result, in the wish fulfilled. The wish fulfilled, as Neville teaches it, is to only assume the reality as if you already had your manifestation by going to your imagination. The path of least effort is literally just assuming that everything is working out in your favor, assuming that your reality is reflecting upon what you say it is. Telling a new story as well is alignment. Only, only, only telling the story that is in alignment with the person who already has it. I have to keep saying this. There's no buts, there's no doubting, there's no wavering, there's no spiraling. Whenever you start to do all of that stuff, go back to the word alignment and come back to this video. What can you do to keep yourself there? Quiet the mind, find a meditation practice, and this is the key thing, guys. Your morning routine. What you do in the morning is gonna set you up for the rest of the day. Your night routine is very important, but I'm saying when you wake up in the morning, wake up on the good side of your reality. Choose to wake up and, and create your world. Do this every single day, seven days at a minimum, and see your world completely change and shift into what it is you desire to have. I love you guys dearly. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Happy manifesting. Peace. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn out.